Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kim. I'm going to be doing your romance past life karmic connections for March 2018. And the first card that we're bringing in from the um, past life deck is the male female. So this could be saying that um, uh, you've always had the role of um, the opposite to what you are in this lifetime. So if you're a female now, you've always been incarnated as a male. And maybe you're finding it hard to... Um, get in touch with um you know your uh, masculine energies or feminine energies in this lifetime and also we've got the card of persecution and inquisition so this could have been you um being persecuted for something that you did you could have been a healer or uh, a psychic back in those days and uh, it didn't fit in with those with the world back then and you were blamed for a lot of um bad things happening like deaths or crops failing um, and you were put to persecution so um, this is affecting your relationships in today's um, incarnation so um, yeah you probably lived um, different lifetimes as the, the opposite sex and you're not feeling comfortable in your own skin today um, maybe if you're a woman you're having a lot of um, uh, women issues um, or experience infertility in some way if you're a male maybe not fitting in with your traditional masculine roles so it's just asking you to trust yourself and that your soul's doing it uh, the best it can in this lifetime um, but you're also bringing all the past life experiences into this life so it is definitely affecting your relationship now I have got the tree as the underlying issue for the Lenormand cards and I pulled this especially for um, the past life karmic card and you're bringing the energies of the coffin here. So this is the ending of something, it's the death of an experience but with death also comes new beginnings so uh, it could be that you had a painful death as a psychic here because we do have the diviner card and this is Mademoiselle Lenormand herself. Um, who um, used to deal with these cards back in France, back in the 1700s. And um, this is prob probably you having a, a painful death back in that lifetime, and it's really affecting you today, Scorpio. We've got the energies of the bear, and this is about a motherly figure or control issues. It's about you having a strength and courage to, to be able to move forward in this life. And we have the house, and this is um, pertaining to a relationship that um, you had in a past life, and it was a family member with the house here. Um, it could have been a male figure back then, but um, this is about stability and um, knowing where to walk in life as well with the house. So there could have been... Um, an ending to a family member back then it could have been a parent as well maybe this is a person that's coming into your life now because um, you do change roles as you go into the next uh, incarnation and um, and you always know this person that's why you get the, the sense of familiar uh, that you're familiar with them by their sight sense something about them that's makes you feel at home basically now I have pulled a card um, from underneath the deck and it's the bouquet with the Lenormand card and this is about your talents and skills, it's about invitations. You also have the um, card of the mice which is usually stress and anxiety but with the bouquet this could mean nervous excitement that you're excited about, about meeting this partner and I've got the man here so if you're a female Scorpio this is a man that's coming into your life, I feel like they're travelling to you, we have the ship here. So they could be a foreign person too. They may not be overseas. They may be just outside of where you live, so outside of your zip code. But I get the sense that it's a mountainous area that they're from. Um, if you're in Australia, it could be the Blue Mountains. It could be New Zealand. Um, it could be um, the Swiss Alps. But there is some um, obstacles that are blocking this person. Maybe it is due to a job because the fox does represent a job so maybe there's some delays around this with the um the ship because that is a slow moving vehicle 
and the mountain is about delays so there, there's some delays with this person traveling due to their job I feel now I have got a card here from the um, romance oracle deck from Doreen Virtue and this is religious factors so um, maybe you're still doing the psychic healing or um, reading for people in this lifetime or maybe it's that you're too scared to do that because of the painful death that you suffered but um, you've just got to know that it is required for you to put people back on their right path in this today in today's society and you are allowed to charge for these um where back then you done it for either um a trade of some sort of food or shelter maybe um but your religious factors is going to influence um your love life so maybe use are both from a different spiritual or um religious upbringing and I also have pulled a card from the Oracle, Animal Oracle deck, which is a dragonfly. And um, it's telling me that all you need to do is focus upon that God loves you and he's always got the best of intentions for you. And that you just have to need, uh, have a positive outlook. It's um, easy to recover from um, life's little difficulties that, you know, uh, that you're suffering today. And this is going to make you uh, be able to move forward in this uh, sector of your life because you do have uh, the house here which is about stability it's about you being in control of your life um, it's about your assets and a feeling uh, strong foundations with your family but it's also um, you know endings and new cycles that are coming so uh, we are in an ending of a um, nine-year cycle we're about to to, or we've taken that step to the next nine years and um, this is about you being able to make uh, money from this knowledge that you have from the past life uh, Scorpio you need to to help heal people and that's your life's purpose so uh, you just need to take a little bit of control when the partner comes into your life or the partner that is in your life now and um, you know don't judge them for what they believe in and vice versa you know stand your ground in other words and I hope this has been beneficial for you but this is going to affect you for the month of March and this is one of your past lives that um, is coming through for March 2018. Well take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.